Question 13D. The point O is on a sloping plane that forms an angle of 45 degrees to the horizontal. A particle is projected from the point O. The particle hits a point A on the sloping plane as shown in the diagram. The equation of the line OA is y equals negative x. The equations of motion of the particle are x equals 18t and y equals 18 root 3t minus 5t squared, where t is the time in seconds after projection. Do not prove these equations. Part 1. Find the distance OA between the point of projection and the point where the particle hits the sloping plane. One way to answer this question is to form a Cartesian equation. That is, express y in terms of x rather than y in terms of t. So starting with x equals 18t, dividing both sides of this equation by 18 to make t the subject, we get t equals x over 18. Now the equation for y in terms of t is y equals 18 root 3 times t minus 5t squared. So I'm going to substitute x over 18 for t in the equation for y. So the Cartesian equation becomes y equals 18 root 3 times x over 18 minus 5 times x over 18 squared. Now this 18 will cancel with this 18 here and expanding the brackets we get y equals root 3 times x minus 5 over 324 times x squared. I'm going to call this equation number 1. Now the particle hits point A when y equals negative x. So from equation number one, I'm going to replace the y with negative x. I'm going to solve this equation for x. So negative x equals root 3 times x minus 5 over 324 times x squared. Noting that x must be greater than 0 since x in fact represents a horizontal distance. So we can divide through by x. So we end up with negative 1 equals root 3 minus 5 over 324 times x making x the subject of this equation, we have 5 over 324 times x equals root 3 plus 1. Hence, x equals 324 over 5 times root 3 plus 1. And y equals negative 324 over 5 times root 3 plus 1, since y equals negative x. So distance OA can be found by applying Pythagoras' theorem, that is, OA equals the square root of x squared plus y squared. And substituting these two values for x and y, we get OA is approximately equal to 250.3679742 metres. Part 2. What is the size of the acute angle that the path of the particle makes with the sloping plane as the particle hits the point A? From part 1, the Cartesian equation is y equals root 3x minus 5 over 324 x squared. The angle of inclination may be found by evaluating dy dx, where x equals 324 over 5 times root 3 plus 1. And recall that this is the x-coordinate of the point A. Now dy dx is found by differentiating the Cartesian equation with respect to x, and that equals root 3 minus 5 over 162 times x. Now the angle of inclination relative to the positive x-axis is inverse tan of root 3 minus 5 over 162 times 324 over 5 times root 3 plus 1, which equals negative 75 degrees. Converting this negative angle into a positive angle by adding 180 degrees, that equals 105 degrees. And here is that angle shown on this diagram. Hence, the acute angle is equal to 180 degrees minus 105 degrees, which equals 75 degrees. Or, the angle measured from the negative x-axis clockwise. Therefore, the angle of the particle's path to the sloping line y equals negative x is 75 degrees minus 45 degrees, which equals 30 degrees. And here it is shown on this diagram. This is the angle of the particle's path. This is the angle of the line y equals negative x. So notice that it's relative to the negative x-axis. So the difference between 75 degrees and 45 degrees is 30 degrees.